Hey y'all, so this is gonna be a follow-up video to my first video, which I will link in the description. I will also like tag it in one of the corners where I talk about how to animate our metahuman like the mannequin in Unreal Engine to get it to walk and run in that third person view. One of the things I forgot to mention was that it kind of messes up the fingers of the hand. So in this video, we're gonna walk through how to fix those finger positions and get everything looking just right. If you look closely on our metahuman, the fingers don't look quite right. And so what we want to do is open up this, uh, go into our Zachary folder, or the MetaHuman or whatever MetaHuman you're using. Let's open up this third person idle animation here. We're going to pause it here. Now if we zoom in here and we come down to our hand, you can see that we can select, let's just start with the uh, index metacarpal and I'm gonna go through each of these fingers here on the left side and all the way to thumb three and just zero out the location rotation. All right, now that we have done that, you can see we have a straight hand now. We need to make it look a little bit more natural. And so this middle finger, we're just gonna keep it zero. Uh, but then we'll go to our index here. We're gonna take it out by five degrees. You can change your snapping uh, over here. You may have it set to 10. You can change it to five. Then we'll go to index one and bring it in five degrees. Then we'll go to our thumb, take it out 10 degrees, thumb one, thumb two, we wanna bring in 10 degrees. And then for our ring metacarpal, bring it out five degrees, bring one and bring it back in five degrees. Pinky will take out 10 degrees on the pinky metacarpal. And then pinky one will bring back in 10 degrees. Uh, so that's gonna give it a little bit more natural spread out look. And then for our index one on the Z axis, the blue axis here, we're just gonna bring it in uh, 10 degrees on the, or sorry, five degrees on the index finger and five degrees on the middle finger, five degrees on the ring and five degrees on the pinky. And then the thumb, you may or may not want to bring in, uh, but I'll bring it in five degrees as well. So that just gives us a little bit more natural look. You could even come to uh, index two, probably bring it in five degrees as well. Uh, middle two, let's just go ahead and bring all these in. That looks just a little bit more natural. And there we go. There. Now you can see we have a much more relaxed looking hand. Uh, and it's difficult to see in this bone structure, but when you start seeing the hand, it'll just be a little bit more natural looking. So I'm gonna go over here now on the right hand, if I scroll down, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, just zero out all the location rotation. All right, now that we've done that, let's again, let's go to our index metacarpal. We're gonna take it out five degrees. Go to index one, bring it in five degrees. Um, take it out 10 degrees. Um, two, come back in 10 degrees. Ring finger, bring it out five degrees. Ring one, again, five degrees. And then pinky, I can select it. Pinky will go out 10 degrees. And then pinky one, we bring back in 10 degrees. All right, now I'm going to just uh, 
when go on the blue axis here, five degrees in on pinky one, five degrees in on pinky two. Ring finger, five degrees in on pinky one. Or sorry, ring one and ring two go in five degrees. Middle, go in five degrees on middle one. Middle two, bring in five degrees. Index, go in five degrees. Index two, bring in five degrees. And same for the thumb, just go in. There we go. So now our hand looks a little bit more natural. You can see our hands looking much better there. So what we want to do now is go to create asset, create animation, and do current pose. We will go to the name of our metahuman here, and we're going to name this animation uh, third person idle. And I'm just going to put underscore new. Great, so you can see that up up here. Uh, we'll save it uh, right behind me. Let me move me real quick. Right behind me, you can see third person new now appears right under third person idle. What we want to do now is double click on third person idle run 2D. Um, and right here is the third person idle. We're gonna remove that. And we are going to bring in and drag and drop our third person idle new on there. And now you can see our hands are fixed uh, on our 2D animation. So now we're done with that. Let's save it. We'll exit. You may actually find that your hands do look still a little bit weird. Uh, like they're like not connected to the body. If that's the case, come to the third person blueprint here and uh, just compile and save and then go back to uh, the blueprint of character Zachary and compile and save. When you do that, it's going to just recompile and put everything back into motion. So don't get freaked out if for some reason uh, it looks disconnected. When you do that, you'll see this here uh, that everything looks good. Depending on the character, you may actually find, you can see the thumbs just a little bit off still there. It just depends on each of the characters have kind of a different skeleton. You may have to go through that process again and just kind of tweak things, create that new pose asset, and then um, uh, add that new pose asset to your 2D file uh, at the beginning. Just run through that process and tweak. You do have to kind of create a new file each time. Okay, so after some doing, I have my new idle file here. I'll make this a little bit bigger for you all so you can actually see the numbers right here. Uh, so here is my index metacarpal index one. You can just take the rough values uh, index two, index three, in uh, mid middle, middle, middle metacarpal, middle one, middle two, middle three, pinky metacarpal, pinky one, pinky two. Pinky three, ring metacarpal, ring one, ring two, ring three, thumb one, thumb two, and thumb three. So you should be able to take those values and use them for the other hand as well. Um, but the thing to note here, I just had to kind of tweak it till it looked right. Again, this may change based on what character you're using. Um, and also the thumb I had to bring in on the red axis about 20 degrees. Uh, so that's that's really the biggest change. Change. And again, there were just sometimes I needed to come back to the blueprint of the character, compile and save, uh, and it would redo my animation. But you can see these hands look a little bit more natural. I might go in and move the thumb a little bit more, just rotating it slightly uh, so it looks a little bit more natural, but this is a very good idle pose uh, for this character. The other thing to note here is that you will want to also do this for uh, like the jump animation. Uh, if we pause here, you'll see that the hands are, are kind of janky. It may not matter to you, uh, but if you wanted to like whatever pose you want this person to be in, 
Uh, you can see when they jump, the hands just look a little bit weird. You might end up changing those if you want to. Uh, and then the run pose, uh, a similar type of thing. His hands are kind of gripped, uh, so you can't really tell uh, whenever he's in this animation. But again, if you want to mess around with those, you can. It's not really a big use case for me right now, so I may just leave it alone.